Hey everybody, my name's Simon Polito. Christina Kim. And together we are SC Luxury Estates. SC stands for Simon and Christina. It also stands for Southern California. Yes, and it also can stand for Selling California. Absolutely, and that's what we do, right? Yep. We don't just sell California, we, we have a lifestyle that we offer to people, right? Yes, and an experience. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, Christina, I'll start by asking you some questions. <laughs> How about we ask each other questions? Let's take turns. All right, okay, well, I'll go first then. Uh, <laughs> so you were, you were a, you know, a phenomenal agent, good book of business. Yes. Going, everything was great, right? You were mm -hmm. a compass in uh, Huntington Beach. Beach. Why'd you leave? Well, that's a very good question. I had no intentions of leaving, but I met this, um, I met a couple of people from EXP. And even at that point, I wasn't interested because I, I, ha I had everything dialed in. Everything was good. However, when I did some research and I, I looked into the model and the system and the training and the tools that they offered, and I just calculated where I would be five years from today mm. if I was to stay at Compass mm. and where I would be five years today if I was with EXP. And it made a big financial difference. So it was a business call. Okay. It was a business decision. Yeah. The numbers made sense to me. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's just one of the reasons. I, I just thought it was because you wanted to work with me. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Jeez, rough crowd. <laughs> All right. Cool. Because well, okay, again, you you've also owned other brokerages uh, as a, as a, as the broker. You've had multiple yes. franchises. Yes. Um, and run a lot of other different hustles that you got going on yeah, yeah. We're, you know, it, we're all within the industry though right so all you definitely you definitely keep your feet wet at all times <laughs> for sure for <laughs> sure they're always wet so um our, our office is is based in newport beach yes um but where do we service well you know our base is in newport beach so definitely our newport is our farm however we're licensed in the whole state of california so it's not like if we, if we get a referral it's we don't discriminate or say, oh, that's not my territory. No, if it's a referral, of course, we take it. You've mm. sold all over the place, right? That I have. You yeah. know what? That house that you sold, Hillside, La Jolla? Yeah. That was like the biggest deal in San Diego, right? It, it's a record for the street for this year, yeah. Yeah, so. That was a, that was a good sale. Uh, wait, what did it sell for? 7.25 million. That's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. That, that was, was a good sale. I mean, I a lot of hard work. A but, lot of hard um, work. Um, I feel everyone feels that when you're just in luxury, you just make money, but you don't have to work very hard. It's actually harder. It's not. It's not easy. It's not easier than. I mean, I, I love the million dollar mark for me yeah, personally. Yeah. The million dollar mark is like you're dealing with real people. You're dealing with an easier transaction. Yeah. When you start getting above five, six, seven million dollars, yeah. the buyers are a lot more pickier, and rightfully so. Right. They're going from great to greater. You know. And they, they're they sophisticated. Can, yeah. They're savvy. They can afford to be picky. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm paying that much money, I'd be picky too, right? <laughs> but you know, I saw all the hard work that you do behind the scenes. I have some clips of you wiping the floor, <laughs> cleaning the windows, you know? That's funny you say that, because like, obviously social media is a great tool. Yeah. It's also the devil, in my opinion, as well, <laughs> because it only portrays one side of the story. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, the glam. But I, I got a lot of um, stories and clips of you <laughs> doing some like janitor work. You know what? It's... Uh, <laughs> I take every listing seriously, and for me, it's, if I'm not yeah. presenting that property in its best capacity, mm -hmm. I'm not doing my job. Yeah. yeah, there's a reason why we dress the way we dress yeah. every day. The reason why we drive the cars we drive, mm -hmm. or eat at the restaurants we eat at, <laughs> it's, it's all perception to a lot yes. of other people. I agree. And and I mean, I, I love dressing like this personally. It's mm -hmm. not like it's a, jo a chore for me. I really enjoy wearing a suit. I like the way I feel in it, and you know, I'm sure you feel the same way. I mean, don't get me wrong; it's comfortable to be in sweats. Yeah, jeans and t-shirt. But no one's going to take me seriously if I'm walking into a $10 million house in jeans, and, in, in sweats and a t-shirt. Yeah. So it's, it's just, it was instilled in my DNA from when I was 17 when yeah. I started in the industry. Oh. It was like, you already got hurdles in front of you. Don't give them another one. Mm. All right. That's a tip right there from a luxury agent. Yeah. I have yeah. a question for you. Sure. If you ask me why I joined at EXP, let me ask you that same question. <laughs> why did you join EXP besides... You know, you. partnering up with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, look, I, I was with I was with K, KW Irvine. Um, 
And ironically, that month that I did leave, I got I got I got made number one in the office, <laughs> oh, um, and number two in SoCal region, oh. which is just an amazing uh, accolade to get. I mean, I love that office. I don't I don't have a bad thing to say mm-hmm. about that office per se. Broker there was one of the probably the best brokers I've ever had the pleasure of working mm-hmm. with in the United States, and. But like you, I started looking at the numbers yeah. and I started looking at the opportunities. And mm-hmm. um, as you know, but I'm not sure if any of you guys know, I'm also an auctioneer. Oops. <laughs> I own an auction company, uh, a non-distressed live luxury auction company. And for me, it's about growing this business as well. Right. And Keller Williams, although they are technically the largest brokerage in North America, mm-hmm. EXP is the fastest growing Correct, right. And I, what I, from my research and discovery, I, I found out that most people at EXP were from Keller Williams. <laughs> I know. You know <laughs> pretty, I much all Keller Williams. pretty much all of them are <laughs> Keller Williams running a very similar model, but they just tweaked it to put their own spin on it, right? Yeah. So I started looking at the numbers. It made sense. Um, I actually had made a promise to myself that I would never partner up with anyone ever again. <laughs> Um, you know what? Pr- promises are made to be broken. Yeah, right. But well, uh, I break all the rules. Yeah, you know, but you know, you guys, you guys, you, you know, took me to a nice fancy restaurant. You wine and dine me, made me feel cool. I know exactly what I'm doing. And you know, we held a king crab that night. Remember that crab? Were, yeah. Uh, held a king crab, and it's like you need to come work with me. I'm like, you know what? There's just a good vibe. Yeah. Um. So the half the half the decision was already made when I met you. Right. Mm-hmm. I knew that you were the right person that I wanted to be aligned with, whether wow. it be EXP or anyone yeah having said that it was like i needed to find out what the if the numbers right. made you sense. needed to do and your own due diligence fact in between the numbers and yeah. exp giving me access to a nationwide um audience right. and that i can roll my program out to mm-hmm. i saw the big picture right yeah i saw that for you too and then they <laughs> then when they offered us to be the ambassadors if you like of newport, newport. beach luxury division it just made sense I thought, you know what, we're already doing it. Yes. We might as well see what can play out of this. Right. Um, and like we've always said, if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean we don't work. Yeah. We can we can go anywhere we want. In this industry, that's the luxury of what yeah. what it is. You don't have to be under a brokerage right. per se to, to get business. It, the business comes to you personally yes. on what you do. Yes. So, yeah, so that's, that's honestly the reason why I joined EXP. Wow. You know what? I know that there's a um, few more other reasons why we both share it. But we should do that as um, part two, part yeah. three, because Simon and I, we can talk on and on and on and on. Yeah, this could go for a <laughs> and while. And also, um, <laughs> I wanted to share on our next podcast how, uh, ooh, the, this gavel and, and the auction style listing a property mm. has worked out personally on yeah. my property yeah. and on my listing. So I wanted to like kind of share that with everybody on our next podcast as well that'd be fun yeah and that was a fun listing in in hollywood that we had with that you was. Yeah, it was great i uh, want to share that story with everybody here we'd <laughs> share another time yeah uh, but yeah i'd love to do that let's do another let's do another class okay. or another uh podcast i should say we'll do part two part three yeah um well let's yeah. call to action call to action <laughs> right now i mean guys if you if one if you want to know more about what we do, mm-hmm. reach out to us. Right? Yeah. How do they get a hold of you? 213-300-2337. That's my cell phone, Instagram. I had that number since high school, and I'm just I'm going to keep that. Everyone's like, why don't you have a 949 number? I had it since high school. Yeah. I've, and I, I mean, don't want, I've, like, five different numbers for five different zip codes that I, you know, so. It, that, before we close out, that's actually an interesting point, because when I moved here, yeah. in Australia, where I'm from, obviously, uh, Landline numbers are very different to cell phone oh. numbers. So everything in Australia, if it's a cell phone, it starts with a 04 at the front. If it's a landline, it starts mm-hmm. with a nine in front. Oh. So you could always distinguish the difference. Okay. And there was really no big difference in area codes inside of the city. Uh-huh. It was all, everyone had the same area code. Mm-hmm. However, when I moved here, it's like, oh no, you have to get this particular first three numbers. I'm uh-huh. like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I didn't understand what everyone meant. So that's why yeah. we just, I, I got the 858 because mm-hmm. everyone said, you got to get 858 if you're in La Jolla. Yeah. So I got that and that's that stuck. And now people are like, they do get territorial about yeah, it. Yeah. They're like, why don't you, because I can, I can get a 949 number or whatever zip code, but I would have like so many different phone numbers. Yeah. So to get a hold of you, use your phone number. Instagram, Instagram is. Broker Christina. Excellent. Or they, they can go to. Oh, SC Luxury Estates. Go on SC Luxury Estates. Follow us. More content is being put on every day. If you want to reach me, my number is 858 
Uh, my personal Instagram is Simon Polito TPG. Uh, or you can go onto our auction website, which is REC Auctions. But make sure you get on there, follow us. We do love integrating and yeah. interacting with you guys and just having fun. Yeah, we have so much to share. I'm excited to come back here. As am I. Yeah. Let's go. All right. <laughs>